Welcome back to Chrono 3 Gaming. So today we're going to be working on a Dodge Viper SRT. Um, it's going to be a 2013. I hope we can uh, get all the parts fixed for it. But I mean, I bought it from the junkyard, and I mean, let's look at it. It's it's pretty much done. I mean, there's n really no body parts or anything. Oh well. Hopefully we can make a nice car out of it. So we did get, you know, at least somewhere with it. I mean, it just looks like it's been totaled, like just sitting in that junkyard forever. And I don't know if uh, a lot of people needed parts off of this or they just needed parts in general, but pretty much everything looks as toast. I mean, everything's so rusty. The motor is probably going to be maybe salvageable. I'm not really sure that's kind of questionable that whether that would be salvageable um, at this point I, I don't know what's salvageable really I know the wheels might be salvageable maybe I might just buy new rims I don't know just, it just depends if these rims are even salvageable at this point because I don't, I don't know just, everything else looks pretty much trash I mean the whole rear end is trashed Everything pretty much trash, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, I got it from the junkyard, so I guess I can't complain, but... I sure you got... It feels like I, every time we get to like one of these where it's like really rusted out, it feels like I should have got there sooner, but I didn't. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's, it's all it is is the rust. We can deal with rust. It's just gonna be, you know, make sure we get it all cleaned up nice and uh, we don't leave any of it behind when we uh, reinstall the new parts because that rust will eat away everything but you know as long as you get it all cleaned up nice and you know no more rust we'll be doing good I guess alright so I mean we're getting it to our part just you know I wish I would have got to it sooner where I wouldn't have to worry about getting all you know all the rust out of it but you know it's okay It'll be rebuilt once I'm done, and it'll be looking really good. I don't know how much we're gonna get out of it, horsepower-wise, because it's crazy. It's just gonna be an insane amount of horsepower, probably. I never really checked the sheet on how much horsepower it's supposed to have or anything, because you know you you can look that up from a manufacturer, but I never did. But we're gonna aim for a lot of uh, horsepower, but. Who knows if that's gonna happen or how much it's gonna have. It's probably gonna have an insane amount, like where every rent's gonna wanna kick out like every two minutes, but other than that it's gonna be fun, but it's just it always seems like no matter what I do, the horsepower gets so much that it wants to kick the rear end out sideways every single time. But it'll be a good drift car, I guess, if that's the case, you know. But it's gonna have so much horsepower, it's just gonna be crazy probably. But it's going to take a lot of work to get it to that, but that motor's completely trashed for one, so most of the parts, probably besides the block, I would say, could be reused, that you could, you know, refix the block and do all that, but other than that, there ain't much saving, like, anything else really on it. I bet you the pistons that are in it are probably bad, you know, if I'm sitting at that junkyard for a long time, but other than that, you know. Should be looking really good once I get done. At least all the um, rear end components look like they're coming up pretty easy. And uh, transmission, we're gonna have to probably raise it up. Motor, yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of trash. I don't know what this car used to do. But we'll make sure that we pull these body panels off too so that, you know, when we get to that point, because might as well pull everything, you know? Once everything's pulled, um, it'll be looking good. I'm gonna go to put it back together, but it's just, you gotta wait until you get to that point, I guess. But, you know, it's not gonna take too long. And then once everything's put back together, it'll look very, very good. But it's just getting to that point to where, you know, you pull everything apart to getting it back to everything back all together again. It seems like it takes a long time. This one didn't seem like it took, you know, that much to get it all apart and then put back, you know, together. You know, but who knows? It's just gonna be, it's always when it goes back together, it's always faster than when you tear it apart. That's what I'm finding out, at least. 
opposite in the cars. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna vote like it took forever, but it didn't. But, you know, the ones that didn't feel like they, uh, you know, took a long time, they ended up feeling, you know, pretty long. I don't know. Sometimes that's how it feels, I guess. But, you know, a lot of the stuff in here is looking pretty, like, beat up. Like, I don't know if they used it. Like as a track car or something, but it, it's pretty, uh, pretty binged up. At least from what I can see, but it looks like they scrapped a lot of the parts out. At least any of the good parts, anyway. So, I guess we'll just have to rebuild with what we can, and if there's parts that I forget to repair or something, we'll just buy them brand new. Because I'm not gonna waste the time on, uh... Repairing them if I forgot to repair them, or if they're like too low of repair value, like you only get one shot at it kind of thing. I don't really feel comfortable doing that, but I mean, you could. I just I don't feel comfortable if it's so far gone that I only got one shot at getting it repaired right. You know, for me it's not kind of worth it. You know, for me to do it just to mess it up and then have to buy the thing anyway. So. I guess at that point you might as well just, you know, buy new. But the bushings are all gone from this thing. All the bushings are all gone. You know, far rotten to go back in. So, at least we have all new bushings and all that to go back in. But man, I never thought I'd see a car that's rusted out before. But who knows, the next one might be worse. You never know. But. Yeah, this one's pretty rusted, from what I can tell at least. It's gonna be a lot of just buying certain parts that we need. Like, I know I already know the motor's just gonna need pretty much everything. Like, there is no point in me, you know, even trying to say that we're gonna be able to repair the whole motor, but... Probably the block, maybe the crankshaft might be able to save. Pistons are already probably gone in it. Like, just... I'm just saying that's what I've seen before with these cars is that the pistons are always all gone. Oh well. Feels like it uh, is uh, going pretty good now. I mean, got a lot of it taken apart. Just found some stubborn uh, bolts here and there. If it wasn't so stubborn, right? But, I mean, here and there it's not too bad. Like, there's just, you know, one or two in the crowd. But, as long as it doesn't get stuck, you know, as long as we can get it back out, that's the only thing that matters, really, I guess. As long as it ain't too far stuck to where you gotta, you know, basically melt them out, because that's a pain in the butt, too, in itself. Hopefully we don't have to, you know, melt every single one of them. Hopefully I can just, you know, spray them like a hat bed and they come right out. But there have been a few where that hasn't worked, but, you know. Other than that, yeah, it's coming right apart, you know. Find, besides the finding some stuck bolts here and there, and, you know, really having to uh, deal with all that. Pain in the butt. When they're too far stuck, it's always a pain, you know. I guess, but. Sometimes you can get them apart pretty easy, but other times you gotta melt them out, and that's a pain in the butt in itself, because you never really know. You know, they can take whole part easy at that point because you run the risk of, uh, you know, burning the bushings or if you're going to reuse them up, you know. But we ain't going to reuse any of these bushings or anything, so, I mean, that doesn't matter, but uh, if this didn't work, we'd have to heat them up, you know, and then bang them out. Hope to God he didn't, you know, damage anything else, you know. But that'd be the only thing you'd really have to worry about. Think about it. It's just I don't understand, you know, why they uh, rust in there so easily. It seems like sometimes, sometimes it doesn't look like oh they they're not rusted out. It's gonna be easy, and sometimes they turn out to be stuck. And they won't be like they won't be rusted out, but they'll be stuck in there too. That's another problem you gotta you know watch out for. Man, if that happens, yeah, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, to get them out. Either melt them or whatever. But man, is that a pain in the butt, though? But it's almost all the way apart, so. 
wait for uh, anything else to you know, basically fall off, it feels like at this point. Just gotta get this dry shaft out. I don't know how or why it's, I don't know. Sometimes it's finicky. That's all I can say. Sometimes it's finicky because you'll uh, be working on something and sometimes it will be finicky and sometimes it won't be. That's what I've learned about in this game. Sometimes you just gotta watch that, you know. So, we'll get all these bolts out, get this out. As long as we get this rear end out, hopefully we won't forget to take it, you know, out and fix it. If not, we'll just buy a new one and throw in there. I'm not really worried about it. I'm not really worried about it. If we have to buy a new part here or there, I'm not really worried about it. As long as we got the majority of the car rebuilt, which the motor is going to be probably the most costliest thing. So, just being that, you know, most of it's gone. And really the only thing that you could maybe reuse is the engine block because it doesn't look so bad. Yeah, pistons in there look kind of gone. Yeah. Clutch is going too on it. I mean, I think that's just from sitting though. You know, it got all that rust and all that up in there. And you don't really want to run them too much when really, they got rust in that in them. But it's always a thing I've always learned is if it's got rust in there, don't mess with it. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done the rest of the way. And get that motor yanked out of there. And, and there's not much more to pull off the car. So, man, I don't even know if the headlights are savable. I mean, I think everything on this thing might be bad. Just, it might just be better just to rebuy everything from the store and then just place a bulk order for everything. That'd probably be the best way to do this. I don't know the best way to work on this one. Other than, um, probably redo everything. Just make sure you buy, like, bulk order and everything. Like, as far as fuses and that go, I would probably use fuses, so... You know, if you order bulk on those, you know, at least you got them for the next guy. You know. But yeah, this motor looks kind of trashed, though. That's the way it's, she's uh, looking to me. If we can get it, you know, all, all torn apart, I'll be happy. But that's going to take some time. But when all that gets torn apart, I'll be super, super happy. Because then I can uh, start the rebuilding process, and uh, yeah, we're going to make some horsepower. I'm putting all performance parts, I think, in the motor. I think that'd be the best course of action, because I'm going to have to buy everything brand new anyway. So I might as well just um, like say what I can, like water pump, because the water pump's going to be the same and all that. But um, other than that, like we're going to buy, you know, performance, everything else that we can. Like performance heads, exhaust, everything that we can for this thing. I bet you when we do that, it's probably gonna make too much horsepower and the end's gonna gonna slide out. But I just forget that it is. It's either a all wheel drive or a rear wheel drive. I didn't really look at it too well to see if it was a rear wheel drive or not. But in any event, it ain't gonna matter whether it's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive because it's gonna want to grip when this thing goes. But I think. It might get too much horsepower. I want to like instead of like take the corner, it's probably gonna want to end up trying to drift the corner because the, it's the only thing I think it could do. Is it, it may want to drift some corners. I think I could be wrong, but that might be what it wants to do. I don't know for sure, but there's a long way to find out. And when we go down the test track, it's probably gonna want to drift. Is what I'm thinking because, you know, we're going to be putting a lot of performance parts in here. And more performance parts equal a lot of horsepower. So, when everything like this comes apart, you know, like, I don't think this timing cover, any of those are really savable. I mean, I might be, of course, wrong on that. We can see what we can save, but I don't think these shoes are going to be savable for the timing. I don't think anything like that is going to be savable. That's all just got to go. And uh, everything's going to be bought new for that timing and all that. 
but I'd much rather do it that way than, you know, have to use these old parts, because I really, really don't want to do that, because that timing belt's not looking too good. So if I didn't get to do that, that that's going to be pretty good too. I just got to remember that, you know, to buy a lot of it. And I don't even think these heads are even fixable. Because the one's definitely not, because it's rusted out to nothing, pretty much. But, uh, everything else on the other side might, would be saveable, but you still have to buy a, a, an engine head no matter if you went with performance or not, I guess. But, since we're going with performance, it wouldn't matter it anyway. We're not really going to save these heads. I think we're going to end up trashing them. But, that's about it, I think, for it. You know, trash the heads. I mean, they might be saveable, but it's kind of iffy if it's saveable at this point. At least that rusted out one. Yeah, that rusted out one's pretty much gone. All the pistons are pretty much gone, too. The rings are, like, just total trash. You know, the spark plug, the ones that were left in it were all trashed out. Everything just sucks in it, pretty much. <laughs> Guess that uh, that rain really did do something to him, huh? That's okay. We'll, we'll fix it all up. It'll be just like new. That's hopefully what will happen, but, you know, you never know. It could or couldn't happen. There's not much more of that really to pull apart, except for uh, pull all the pistons out. And then hopefully repair it with can on the repair bench. I think the engine block's probably gonna be about the only thing we could save. I, I don't know about anything else, really. The water pump might be saveable that came off of this. Because you could rebuild that. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, you could probably repair some of this stuff, but... That water pump probably would be savable, I would think. But these pistons and the rings and all that gotta go. They're, they're not savable. They got, you know, too much water into it, or something. I mean, they, they rusted, so they're not too good. Time for them to go. We'll just throw all new performance parts in it anyway. So, hopefully it will go pretty fast when we're done. But, I, then, you know, there's a thing to where you can want to go fast, but not so fast that you break everything. <laughs> every single time you go out, you know, but, you know, I don't think everything will snap or anything like that, I'd rather buy new and just start from scratch, basically, because this motor's pretty well trashed anyway, so, I mean, I might as well, if we're gonna build it up, build it up for performance, and hopefully we get a lot of performance out of it, but it's gonna be that one of them things, if, if it works out, it's gonna work great, if not, well, we tried. <laughs> we definitely gave it our best shot, that's for sure. If, if it holds together, that's another question entirely. I don't know if it will hold together, but... Eh, it might, you never know. This is the end of the video, so I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.